Hi there, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and we're working away at this big jewelry jar, this 16 pounder. And we had uh, nine anklets and was it 18 or so necklaces so far. Now we're getting down into the beads, which is not as interesting for most people. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pile the beads that are the same together and uh, as I pull them out here I'm gonna have to open a bead store and we'll just uh, kind of show you the ones that are I guess what do you say similar And we'll get us down to some some more jewelry. I have I didn't weigh um, the total of the beads so far, but I think I think it was um, in the two pound jar. There was it was two pound fourteen ounces. I think there was close to two close to two pounds of beads. And uh, here I'm just trying to sort these as quickly as I can. Those are rectangles, those are rounds, these are speckled, pinks, rounds, pinks. Not too many yellow. Oh, there's more yellows in there. Okay. So. Some of these look like Easter eggs. It's kind of funny. I've no, I haven't uh, seen these kind. So, well, first of all, we have these speckled beads, lots of these in uh, the ovals, and a few of them in rounds. So there's a good, probably 10 packages of those. And then the same thing with the pinks, we have ovals and rounds in the speckles. There are all large cat's eye orange bead. Oh, oh, there's some ovals, sorry. Oval and round in the cat's eyes. Those are gorgeous color, gorgeous color. Um, ovals in a couple of sizes of the uh, pink cat's eyes. Very pretty color. And then lots of cubes in the large and small sizes in the oranges. And then we get, so we're, that's quite a few. I'll have to find a big bag for those or someplace to put those to sort them. And I'm anxious to get down to some more jewelry, so we'll sort these again. It's just, it's not never ending, but there's a lot. Trying to see, uh, sort them for the ones that you haven't already seen. So there's more oranges and uh, cat's eye pinks. And more of those ovals. And then we have two new colors coming up. We have... These 
kind of a greeny brown color in cube and in the cat's eye ovals so there's quite a few of those um pink cat's eye cubes of two different sizes large and small yellow cubes all seem to be oh two sizes no two sizes large and a medium but not the little tiny ones oh no nope, there they are little tiny ones as well so three sizes of the yellow cubes some yellow no uh rounds in the cat's eye and then this brownie yellow in um ovals and the little cubes and the large cubes so that was fast um i think we're getting into some seed beads now yeah so we got some pink seed beads red gold um clear black and Clear mixed. <laughs> We're going to go through half the jar in five seconds. I don't think there's anything new in that bunch that you haven't already seen. And I'm almost down to the next bunch of jewelry. Some. Uh, it's hard to describe that color. It's, I think it's a brown. A ready brown, perhaps, seed bead. Some more clears, some more golds. We've seen all these. Yeah. And there's an odd waxy feeling brown or black bead. Some green seed beads, some more black seed beads. Some yellowy orange. Some nice Kelly green and bright grass greens um, some more uh, those are brown but some they they the, they have a like an orangey gold highlight depending on where the light hits them there's a few little blue blues we haven't seen so let me pull out oh, there's some bra there's some loose beads but I think, what have we got? I think, so there's some more of those goldy seed beads. And then some little blue or aqua cubes, some medium cubes, some little ovals for some reason. Oh, and some larger ovals in the aqua. So this huge pile. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see the whole thing. Is uh, all the beads and we're down to about half the jar now. You can see. So let me clear away my table and I'll be right back. Hello, it's Pat Hood from Patches of Pastimes and after all of that uh, uh, getting all of those bags of beads out of the jar we're finally back to some jewelry and i'm sure we'll find some the occasional bead mixed in yeah they're flopping everywhere so we did see this bangle from the outside of the jar it's nice lightweight uh okay i can't get it on i'd have to bend it um for, a, I guess, a smaller wrist. What does it say on the... It only go. Well, it goes to two and a half. Well, at the widest part. Two and a half inches on the... That's very pretty. Nice lattice work effect. All smooth edges. Um, I don't see... Is that a marking there, maybe? I don't see any signature. I 
that's just a weld spot yep so very very pretty bracelet or bangle 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 there we go so very pretty um, oh this is on a chain one of those little snake chains lobster claw clasp okay yeah be nice if this had a little bit of red on the end it's this lovely little pendant simple but stylish very effective and the chain let's see now since I've gotten used to this ruler three inch extender 16 inch chain very wearable um, modern piece of jewelry very nice silver bracelet silver bangle here's a uh, a Christmas pin a uh, enameled or resin over the uh, probably a resin over the picture an excellent shape no marking on the back but very seasonal don't mind me, I'm sort of picking out little bits of, of uh, beads as we go along. Pretty, pretty aqua blues. Very summery. Here in the midst of winter, it makes me feel like uh, being somewhere warm. Only problem with it is it's sort of tightly strung and it, as you can see, it doesn't lie flat. So it has some chips of glass a glass pendant and seed beads these don't look like pieces of shell they just they're just pieces of reflective glass and then these uh, come up to a barrel clasp and maybe if this was stretched slightly the cord, whoops, I don't want to break it. Might have to let it hang and see if by its own weight. Otherwise, it needs to be restrung so it doesn't have that weird shape. But very pretty. Put that with the blues. This looks like a mess. A bunch of beads came out with it. What is it? Oh, well, this is one of them theirs. It's part of something, and that looks, I'm going to look at it close up. Um, all the silver is worn off of it, the silver tone paint or whatever, but there's a nice metal bead underneath. And then this is another piece of something. I don't know if they went together. They look. Slightly different chains. Anyway couple of pieces for repurposing maybe for like wind chimes oh here's a poor sad hematite necklace with a little charm of some sort what is that oh it's a, a buddha charm but the face on the buddha is a little weird a little freaky um, but this is broken, so there's some beads for repurposing. Oh, and this isn't broken. This is an illusion necklace. It's a little out of shape. Um, feels like glass beads. And except for the fact that it's, you know, a little, um, I don't know. Oh, I see. It's got a double extender here, so that's why it seems um, an odd shape. But why put an extender on a necklace? Well, I guess you could sort of change the way it, where it hangs, but it's meant to hang with this at the center. I'm not sure if it'll hang right if you use the extender. But uh, uh, an interesting way to construct a, uh, an extender, if you're doing it all on your own. 
and maybe purpose those beads. Here's something long, tangled with something not long. Oh, something. <laughs> okay. This is where this is like the, one of those magician tricks with the with the handkerchief. Here's where it starts with a little flower dangle. These lovely purpley violet beads keep going, keeps going, keeps going. I will measure it in a minute. Then there's a big tangle and it ends. So it's a lariat necklace. Let me just it's a little grimy. Uh, sorry so long it knocked over the camera no that was me trying to pick it up so it's 48 inches and a little bit and this is what it looks like they feel like glass beads they're not uh, they're they're just uh, bicones or like a diamond shape they're not faceted but they certainly have plenty of sparkle anyway so very wearable um, lariat and certainly very repurposable beads. What is this? Ooh, this is an earring. This is, whoops. <laughs> this is one earring. I'm going to show it to you now in all its splendor. Well, looks like all the rhinestones are there. It's very pretty. Lots of movement, lots of color. I hope I find the other one. And this is a necklace tangled with some other necklaces. This is a statement necklace, so like a little bib. That's kind of different with the red, with the sort of marble effect. The dark um, glass beads that almost look like rhinestones. And then the actual clear rhinestones or white rhinestones on gold. That's very nice. Lobster claw clasp. And there's actually a tag... Nygaard. So there's a good name. Clothing name. And this necklace is about 17 inches. So very wearable. Let's see if I can get it laid out on the table so that you can see the entire necklace. So there it is. Very pretty. I think that's a good one to donate to the uh, the gratis thrift shop. Now this is something different. Another sort of bib type necklace that's having some issues being this one piece not wanting to what's going on here I think they're just twisted but I don't want to break it you know how that works right there we go one Just twisted the wrong way. So if I'm having that kind of an issue with it, maybe somebody got rid of it because they were having that issue. But isn't that pretty? Very nice. I love this textured circles and then the polished ovals. There it is up close. Very good condition. And this too has a tag. Let's see if we can. There we go. It takes a minute. Established 1974. Liz Claiborne. LC. Well, no wonder it's such a nice design. That's very pretty. If I needed more necklaces, I'd keep that one to wear. I guess I need to have a shop and start selling things. Ooh, a whole bunch of beads. Well, it will be fun. I need to find my little bead container with the locking lid. There we go. 
So this is an interesting, oh, this is very long. Let's see. Here it goes to two, or does it? It looks like an extender. So I'm gonna lift it up from there. That looks like where the clasp where it clasps. Three gold chains. Okay, so that's what this is. This is a three stand gold chain nex necklace with discs. Nice texture, very good color. Lobster claw clasp. And no sign of a maker, but a beautiful piece of jewelry. I'm going to just uh, clasp that together. And the sh it's more than 24 mm -hmm. inches long. How's that? We'll say 24. So it the, at the longest necklace is longer than 24. And there it is. If I move the camera back, you can see it in uh, its full length. Very nice. Excellent condition. Very wearable. Beautiful chain. Beautiful, beautiful chain. Okay. So this jar, I can see why they priced the jar the way they did.